My name's Capone. Al Capone. They call me Scarface. I was the most notorious gangster in Chicago back in the Roaring Twenties. I claw my way up from the slums of Brooklyn to become the kingpin of the Chicago underworld. I built an empire of booze, broads, and blood. When prohibition came, I made a kill in supplying illegal hooch to the thirsty masses. I brought in the big bucks through gambling, prostitution, and racketeering too. But it wasn't just about the money and power for me. I craved action. I lived for violence. My boys and I ruled the streets of Chicago with an iron fist. We bribed cops, judges, politicians, you name it. Nobody could touch us. We did what we wanted, when we wanted. I've knocked off more guys than I can count. I put a bullet in any rat who dared cross me or my outfit. One of my most infamous hits was the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. I wanted to take out my rival Bugs Moran and his boys once and for all. So I set him up in a warehouse and had my men impersonate cops to get them to drop their guns. Then we lined those poor saps up against the wall and sprayed them with bullets from our Tommy guns. Blood and brains everywhere. It was a real slaughterhouse. But that's what happens when you mess with Scarface Capone. I was accused of all kinds of killings, beatings, and other crimes. But none of it stuck cops, lawyers, politicians, they were all on my payroll. I was untouchable. It wasn't the murders or bootlegging that finally took me down. It was tax evasion. Those treasury men nailed me for not paying my taxes. I got 11 years in Alcatraz for it. But you can't cage a wild animal like me for long. When I got out, my health was shot. I died a few years later from syphilis. But my legend lives on. I'm still remembered as one of the most notorious gangsters of all time.